Libra. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's the Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 15th to the 21st of August 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So um, I press start and I was sitting there for what seemed ages before it clicked into gear so <laughs> hopefully you haven't got a photo of me at the start just sitting there looking at the camera a bit blankly <laughs> right Libra overall you've got the Hierophant could be dealing with Taurus here okay standing up for yourself following your own heart following your gut instinct following your beliefs here and um, yeah doing it your way past energies you had the full four of Pentacles the star could have been dealing with an Aquarius in the past but there was something or someone and I feel like it's a dream that you had here that you weren't willing to let go of nothing wrong with that at all you're ready to take a leap of faith jump in here and give this a go but it was something that you'd been hanging on to this dream for a while and it was one that you were not prepared to walk away or give up give up on love that Present energies, two of pentacles, eight of pentacles, eight of cups. There is some sort of emotional attachment though that is being walked away from, left behind. Maybe something or someone that is trying to prevent you from following your dreams here. A lot of focus, a lot of hard work. It is just saying to be aware of what else is going on around you here. But getting control of the situation, getting things back into place, getting that balance back into place. Love that. Future energies, King of Pentacles, the Hanged One, the Moon. Success, abundance, things are falling into place here, getting control of finances, where things have been a bit cloudy, a bit darker, a bit greyer here, that Moon has been giving you a lot more clarity, allows you to make a clear decision, where to now? You know, that lot of success has come in, shifting that goalpost, next level could be around work here a lot of pentacles could be dealing with an earth sign taurus virgo or capricorn but ultimately doing things your way with that hierophant and having these um, dreams pay off these are your dreams and you are doing this your way so let's clarify everything libra starting with the hierophants you get the princess of pentacles queen of pentacles eight of cups an offer that is being made here. You are proud of how far you have come, but you do also realize, again, this Eight of Cups, there is some sort of emotional attachment that, um, that needs detaching here, whether it's something or someone, but there is this offer here to look at and follow your own heart, follow your own beliefs, and you follow your gut instinct here with that offer, but also with what you do walk away from and what, do you, what you do take with you. Past energies, you've got the full, you've got the world, three of pentacles, king of wands. Divine timing, always say, things happen for a reason, if it's meant to be, it will be. You're ready to take that leap of faith and that divine timing, that world does have your back when it comes to following your dreams here. You're in control of the situation, partnership, collaboration, building a solid foundation together putting some plans into place to chase these dreams that you do have but it may be as a partnership as a collaboration could be around love could be around work could be around home but um loving that four of pentacles next you get the ace of cups ace of wands the devil could have been dealing with a Capricorn here back in the past. There may be some sort of negative or toxic energy that you're feeling bound and chained to, unable to release. Some sort of legal contract could be an addiction of some sort, whether it's within, whether it's someone close to you. It's also something where you're waiting for an apology to come through and you may be waiting for a very long time. There's new love here, new chapter when it comes to love. So it could be an existing relationship. It may be somebody extremely brand new, work in progress, but at the same time, there is this niggling negative energy that keeps, I'm going to say, hanging around like a bad smell. 
and you are wanting to be rid of that and focus on this whole new chapter, this whole new journey. Interesting. So we come to the star. Five of Wands, Princess of Wands, the Magician, the Magician and the Star, manifesting, wishing, doing this all correctly, very compassionate, very giving with your time, with your energy, but also maybe a bit of drama, a bit of conflict, a bit of disagreements that has been happening back there in the past, and it may come off this devil energy as well. We talked about not letting go of a dream that you have in the past, putting the plans into place, pulling the pieces together. Dotting the, what is it? Dotting the I's, crossing the T's. Present energies, two of pentacles. You get the three of wands, princess of cups, three of cups. Look at that for balance here. Opening your eyes, seeing the bigger picture. Maybe in a negative way, it may be in a positive way. With the princess of cups, it may be seeing someone in a completely different light than what you initially thought um, of them. There is something to celebrate here, possibly when it comes to this offer of love. You may be offering that to someone, they may be offering it to you, but ultimately you do actually see things a lot more clearer um, when it does come to this offer. Especially balanced with this two of pentacles, and these two threes are either side. Balance, balance, balance. Libra, eight of pentacles. You get the Seven of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. You do have options here. It's always options to look at. Sometimes they're not so obviously so. You have been left out of a situation, left out in the cold, feeling like something or someone is preventing you from moving forward here. Stalemate situation where things just come to a grinding halt. And it is just looking at these options, looking at the detours that are available here and continue that journey towards warmer energy. It just may be on a different path than what you're initially intending to be on. And this could be the Eight of Cups, that path that you are walking away from that one and heading off in a different direction here with this Eight of Cups. Two of Pentacles, we clarified back there. Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Very focused, quite stubbornly so, and again, being aware of what else is going on around you, what these other options are, and what these detours are. You put a lot of hard work in to get to where you are, to get control of a situation. You may have been pulled in different directions, like a tug of war, I usually say, but now being able to, again, pick up what works for you and move on forward and leave everything else behind that's holding you back here. It's taken a lot of hard work to get to this stage. So Libra, King of Pentacles. You get the Lovers, the Tower, Queen of Swords. Love this. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Soulmate, Twin Flame, somebody significant. You are ready to actually release a lot of energy that has been building and building and building. Okay, and suddenly, boom, that tower explodes everything out into the universe, but it does start to settle everything back down where you are able to make that solid foundation from the ground up. Whole different approach towards something or someone, possibly someone, the lovers, soulmate twin flame, but um, cards are flying here. <laughs> but that different approach, direct approach, clearing the air and... Um, making sure that that success comes flooding in that you have clarifying king of pentacles so the hanged one these flew out libra four of pentacles nine of sword strength could be dealing with a leo whatever it is that you are hanging on to back here whether it's that dream or whether it's something like a legal contract you're not able to break free from given that clarification had the devil Okay, it's brought a lot of stress, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of overthinking of things. And I feel like it's taking a lot of strength, a lot of digging deep to actually just make a decision yourself here. Possibly outside pressure being put on you to make a decision in someone else's way. And it is actually just focusing on what works right for you here. And when things are the darker and grayer, that moon that we finish with does give you that clarity. Dealing with Pisces. And you get Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, King of Swords. Love that. Power couple down here in clarification. 
king and queen of swords taking some very swift direct action very level-headed very logical success is there for the taking persistence not giving up not quitting maybe not quitting on yourself maybe not quitting on a situation or someone that is actually out here but that moon's given you a lot more clarity and you have that logical thinking and that success is yours to claim so let's see what the universe has to say you get the empress king of wands seven of wands is that persistence not giving up i love the seven of wands very aware of your own feelings but very aware of what's going on around you as well especially if there's peer pressure being put on you here but you're following your own heart you're following your gut instinct you know what you want who you want and where you want to be headed and you're not giving up you are not quitting that's that dream that you are hanging on to there that is yours love all of that libra let's see what star temple oracle has to say to finish you get number 28 the seven sisters circle sisterhood enriches my life brilliant loving that too star words connection collective collaboration together everyone achieves more true sisterhood deepens and magnifies both personal and collective sacred assignments and success competition and comparison create disharmony surround yourself with supportive sisters so you can celebrate your achievements together like-minded friendships enrich your life with mutual encouragement and connection our divine feminine lineage of sisterhood links back to the priestesses healers and oracles of the ancient temples scattered all over our earth mother united in sisterhood we nurture nourish and heal both the earth and each other unified we create compassion peace and reconciliation brilliant love that sisterhood so that is what i have libra do hope it helped thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time see ya bye